hello friends in this video we'll we'll see one simple project in android studio by using the list view okay the project is that i will mention some websites in the list view for example google facebook when i click on that google that should be open in the next screen today that's the project we'll do that one okay we'll take linear layout and change the orientation as a vertical okay we'll take list view We'll give the ID for the list view ID. List view. List view one. This is ID for the list view. Okay, we'll open the main Java. Now initialize the list view. and i will take the array list to add the websites okay array list array list type is a string so i will need to give the string because website okay i will take variable as a and we'll take array adapter array adapter which is need between the for the connection between the source and the destination okay my destination is the list view and the source is the array list for the array list we are displaying the result so for that one we need to take the array adapter okay. initialize the list view by using the find view by id r dot id dot okay now we initialize the array list al equals to new only user can see the list view not the array list that's why we can we use we need to use initialize by using the new keyword okay make it as empty only at least and array adapter we need to initialize new array adapter okay one more thing the array adapter contains the three parameters one is the this second one and try dot all dot layout dot these two are the mandatory one comma al okay and the last parameter is the al al.add okay for the array list we need to add the some website now i will add okay, i will add google Website will take Facebook. We can give only Facebook.com. There is no need of www. that is array adapter initialization that is nothing but the link between array list and the array adapter now we need to add the link between array adapter and the list view for that we need to add lv dot set adapter that is the variable of the array adapter is a okay now we, we need to write one method that is Wait a second, guys. We need to write this on on create method only. Okay, remove this one.
एल वी लिस्ट व्यू डॉट सेट ऑन आइटम क्लिक लिस्नर दैट मीन्स वन आई क्लिक ऑन द आइटम दैट शुड बी दैट शुड बी द टास्क ओके न्यू डॉक्टर यू क्लिक द सम कोड दैट इज ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेटेड नो नीड ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग ओके दिस ऑन आइटम क्लिक कंटेन्स अ थ्री पैरामीटर्स वन इज अ पोजिशन ओके दर इज नो इंटेंट आई इज फॉर द कनेक्शन ऑफ द न्यू ओके सेकेंड एक्टिविटी नो विल टेक वन सेकेंड एक्टिविटी वन एम टी एक्टिविटी ओके Guys, you should remember that the intent is for the connection of the two screens. Okay. Dot class. Now I will take one variable as a string. String guess equals to. एल डॉट गेट पोजिशन नव विल टेक द पोजिशन देर इज अ वेरिएबल कॉल्ड पोजिशन इन द ऑन आइटम क्लिक ओके एल डॉट गेट पोजिशन दैट पोजिशन शुड बी पॉज इन टू द नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन दैट इज आई डॉट पुट एक्स्ट्रा मेथड Okay, when you are sending data from one screen to second screen, we need to use the put extra method. I will take one variable as a. E. We'll pass the data as into the. E. Start activity. Start activity. I. Okay. Now we'll design the second screen. In the second screen, we need only one web view. That's it. Change it to the linear layout. Orientation as a vertical. That is not required. I will take one web view. This also match for and match for. I will give one ID. ID as a web. Okay. Now initialize the web view. Web view. We'll take variable as w. W equals to five. By using the find view by ID, we'll initialize r dot id dot. The id is the web. Now we need to get the data from the first screen. For that we need intent i equals to get intent. Hope you remember, guys. Okay. If you don't know how to get the data from the first screen to the second screen, please watch my earlier videos. Passing data from first screen to second screen. I'll take one variable string. String data equals to bundle dot get string. Okay. 
okay that is a is the variable that i given in the first activity java activity now w dot load url okay we need to append this one http that one for that on data the string is data okay. w dot load url is the method Now we'll okay. Now we'll open the manifest. We need to give the user permission for the internet. I will run and see. Here is screen Google, Facebook, and Crickers. When you click on the Google, which is we'll choose a Chrome. Yeah, Google will be open. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.